So ST Micro has this graphical interface called the ST Cube MX, which really helps you get started on projects a lot easier. So in this lecture, we're going to learn how to download that and how to install it in our development environment. And this will really, really help us and speed us in getting our projects up and running much faster. So search STM32 Cube MX in your favorite search engine, and it takes you to the STM32 Cube MX download site. You can scroll down all the way to get software or on the tabs, click on get software. Accept the license agreements. You'll have to create an account if you don't already have one, and it's free to do so. Once you log in, this should download a zip file onto your Linux machine. Go to the downloads folder and copy the zip file over to our stdev directory. If you remember, the stdev directory is where we're going to install all the components of our toolchain. So let's put stcube over there as well. So after copying the zip file, right click and say extract here. After extracting, go into the folder and click on readme.html. In the readme file, it says since STM32 Cube is a 32-bit application, some versions of Linux 64-bit, which is ours, require to install 32-bit compliant packages. So let's go ahead and do that first. So I'm going to open a terminal window and type sudo apt-get update first to update our application database. Next, I'm going to type sudo apt-get install ia32-libs. Notice how it says package ia32-libs has no installation candidate. However, the following packages replace it. So let's go ahead and install the package lib32z1. So I'm going to copy that name and type sudo apt-get install lib32z1. After the installation is complete, open the stdev folder where we just extracted the kubemx software. So first, we're going to make sure we have sufficient privileges to run the installation file. So we're going to type chmod plus x and the setup file name. Next, type dot followed by backslash and the file name to run the executable. You'll see this runs the installation file. Go through the installation steps to install stcube and choose stdev as your destination directory for installation.
When you're finished, you can now delete the zip folder that we had initially downloaded and also the extracted folder which had the installation files. Now I only have the stcube.mx folder inside my stdev directory. Go ahead and click on the executable to open stcube. In the following videos, we're now going to use stcube to get started on projects.